Hello and welcome to Andre's YouTube blog for October 18th, 2011. Well, I was kind of agonizing a little bit over the subject of what this vlog would be, but I decided since it had been a long time, I would present to you the 10th volume of my um, rare and out of print CD collection. I have 16 selections for you today, and uh, the first one I have here is uh, Boy George. This is his first solo album, Sold. Here, it's quite a collector's item these days. Again, most of these CDs I find extremely inexpensively, and you know, I just get them, you know, because there's somebody I'm interested in, like that. You know, not just his image, his music interests me. Thank you. And uh, Brian Adams, you want it, you got it. Uh, this guy put out a couple of albums before he really hit big in the mid 80s. This album came out in 1981. It's a relatively hard CD to find, but uh, I'm glad I got a hold of it. This is actually one of his first hit albums called Cuts Like a Knife in 1983. I also have that. And, you know, this is quite a rare thing to find where I found it. I found this at the local Goodwill. Um, Jazz at the Oberlin uh, by the uh, Dave Brubeck Quartet. It says uh, Paul Desmond, Ron Crotty, Lloyd Davis. It was recorded on March 2nd, 1953. Quite a find to locate any kind of jazz at the Goodwill. It's kind of nice. This is an album by Gino Vanelli I've been looking for since uh, as long as I can remember. It's an inconsolable man from 1990. Uh, it's one of the last kind of pop albums he ever made before kind of going into more world music and jazz. So I'm glad I found this. Now recently Brian Ferry solo albums were reissued in England and they've gone out of print and I'm glad I have a couple of them here. Uh, this one is called uh, In Your Mind. It's from 1977. And this one is uh, The Bride's Trip Bear from 1978. Remember in an earlier video blog I mentioned I like to listen to music in a certain way, you know, follow-up albums and stuff like that. This is uh, the Crystal Waters album, Storyteller. Thank you very much, Edge Video, for being able to find that. And this is War, Why Can't We Be Friends. Shouldn't be a rare and out of print CD, but it is. Great album, by the way. Oh, I think my pile fell down, but I'll pick that up a little bit after. <laughs> anyway, um, this is um, Herb Albert's uh, keep your eye on me. Um, many of you who know about uh, Janet Jackson history know that Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis of the time uh, produced this album, partly, and uh, Janet appears on a couple of the songs, actually. This is uh, Al Dimiola, Kiss My Axe. <laughs> kind of a funny parody name. Thank you again, Edge Video. And this is a favorite recent of mine. Uh, purchase of mine, uh, Michael Frank's Object of Desire, 1982. Really kind of rare CD to find nowadays. This picture's right on the back. Um, great, sophisticated, urban, groove album. Kind of a little bit of a tougher Algero sort of thing. Clever songwriting, I like it. Ella Fitzgerald, a 1969-70 album. These are two records of hers covering uh, Beatle and Motown songs and you know whenever Ella gets her voice around something I think she can sing the phone book and still sound good you know love you and miss you Ella Little River Band Monsoon thank you local flea market album I was kind of curious about for a while kind of produced by a group of 80's dream team people curious to know how this is going to sound um, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, and this is not Relax here. This is their second and final album, as it turned out, Liverpool. Glad to complete my Frankie collection here. And Philip Bailey's Continuation, courtesy of uh, Funky Town Grooves. See that little logo? It's out of print now, but it's one of my favorite albums by him, and actually his first solo album, so I'm glad to be able to have it. Well, that is my rare and out of print CD collection for now. I would like to let everybody out there in the audience know that I still very much appreciate people who support uh, 
record stores and what they do, and that they peruse them once in a while. And I don't really think that the record store phenomenon is dying out yet, despite what people say. And I think it's important that we keep our music in our culture and not just concentrate on you know, movies and visual things. I think, you know, our ears need some work on once in a while, too. Everybody have a good week, and this is Andre signing out.